so I have been working on this video about Eldritch Park for months. What is going on? Why is it taking so long? And uh, in the process of telling the story, how do I do my videos? <laughs> So I thought I'd give you a little look uh, on the inside here, uh, kind of a behind the scenes and a making of this video and what's going on and give you a little look at my work process as well. So something a little different here, uh, but I hope that you'll find it fun and interesting and exciting and hopefully I get some good sound out of it too this time. So we visited Eldridge Park back in July. We were amazingly blessed uh they spoiled the stuffing out of us uh, not just letting us come visit but giving us behind the scenes tours and a history of the resurrection of the park and so much more um and really it was it was an amazing time so one of the things that uh i do when i go on these trips is i shoot a lot of video a lot of video. So let me kind of give you an idea here of um, how I store my video. Here is actually my Eldridge Park footage. And you can see I've got 196 pictures and video clips here. There is a lot. We And some of this is mine. Some of this is Craig's. And uh, yes, I do still use old Picasa because I haven't found another program that does what Picasa does. Um, I wish we could get an updated one. I thought I had found one and the poor guy was in Ukraine. Um, and so it didn't get updated and it never quite got to this level. Uh, but in any case, I've got all of this footage here that we shot. Lots of pictures, lots of video. Um, we've got uh, tours around the park. Um, and just a whole lot of stuff. I've also got a souvenir book that I bought and a couple other things that give the whole story. So I've got all of this media, put it in Picasa. I sort it out there. I typically will label it. And that way you can get an idea of what we're doing. Um, yes, walking around. And so these were our guides. They're uh, two gentlemen who helped resurrect it. When I get back uh, home, I then take all of that stuff, um, sort through it, compile it, and then um, I get ready to edit it. So I'm actually in the process of changing my uh, editing program. This is my old one. This is going to be the last video I ever do in the old program. Uh, it's Movie Studio Suite. Um, I'm actually in the process of moving over to DaVinci Resolve, which I like better. Uh, just a number of reasons. Uh, and DaVinci Resolve is free to use too. But this is kind of how um, I typically will do a video is I take all of my on the scenes stuff and I then, uh, all my vlog, I just drop it into it. And then I pretty much compress it, edit out clips that don't work. Occasionally I'll rearrange the vlog clips, but usually it's just drop it in uh, add on an intro and a close, and it's good to go. My my travel vlogs are usually pretty easy, but Eldridge Park has this amazing story behind it. That, and then with the behind-the-scenes tour, I start going, you know, I don't want to just give them a vlog. I want to give them something nice. I want to give, uh, if you saw my Knott's Chicken Dinner video, I wanted to give them something like that, but even better. Uh, and so I was like, all right, let's take the vlog, let's splice it out, let's add in the tour clips, but while we're doing the tour clips and them narrating, let me also throw in a history of the park so you can see the past and then the present and just kind of go from there. And, um, and what ended up happening was I ended up biting off more than uh, I normally could chew. So let me show you where this is in process. Um, this is actually the beginning, and let me zoom in on it a little bit, zip back to the front. So this is my actual vlog video. Uh, we've got the Park Tales intro, 
and then um, we start getting into the actual video. And then I realized, okay, I want to drop in historical parts. Let's do the vlog. Let's do a little bit of history. And then the vlog and then some tour and history. And then the vlog and kind of bounce back and forth to give it a, sort of a documentary feel uh, as we do it. But at the same time, you know, alive, hey, here we are visiting. Uh, so what happens then is you end up with the pictures uh, that I want to put in. And this is all voiceover. I've got my script written for this. I've actually done voiceover work for it twice. Um, and I will get into that in a minute. Uh, but the idea is to begin to paint a picture of the park and uh, give some background of it there and then we'll splice in uh some of the tour um and then i've got it broken down into sections so we've got the beginning of the park and uh i've got a lot of tour information here um and i'm actually going to overlay this with other media and then it's kind of broken down into eras and i've actually used uh, the book that they wrote these two gentlemen are the ones who wrote this book about the history of the park and I'm kind of breaking it down into the amusement ride era, uh, the end of an era, the resurrection of the park. Um, and then we're going to talk about the whip. And so I've then taken all my video footage of uh, the tour that they gave us. And I've got that broken down into different areas. Uh, we've got the story of the whip here. Uh, we'll also talk about the carousel. Um, and so it's all kind of broken down into that. And then what I'm going to do is, after all of that footage, zoom out here, um, and I have various stories from the park. This is all footage here of different things around the park. Let's see, me riding the flying scooters, uh, more carousel footage, and more vlog. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be taking all of this, and I'm going to be laying it over their narration um, to fill that in. I've also got a number of pictures. Uh, there's even more tour information here. Um, and then here's all the historical pictures that I've got. Um, and some of them are being weird at the moment, but uh, there's all of these different pictures from the book and some of them didn't come out that I have shot and that I will be using. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to be taking all these pictures and the other footage I've shot, and I'm going to be laying it over the uh, tour information. So you'll have their voices in the background and then these other pictures and other media on top of it. So you can see what they're talking about. And then there's spots I have to voice over. And so I've got it finally broken down kind of into eras. Um, I've got to place my vlog clips in there some still. But then I've got to voice over myself. And something's happened in the last couple months. And my sound has just been off. Um, part of it is that. That's the dog who makes it very hard to record a lot of times because she's making noise constantly. Blah! And she's just looking here like, don't you love me? You her head. So uh, that has also become an issue. <laughs> um, what are you doing? Oh, there, say hi. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, but but that's kind of where the video is. It's actually getting very close to being done, finally, because my vlogs typically, like I've got one clip that I work on at a time, and it just lays out. So my regular videos, um, I'll end up with essentially two elements. I've got my main video with me talking, and then I put media on top of it. So there's two different elements there that I, I work with. And the media, because I know what I have them in my uh, video and pictures files, it's easy for me to just grab it from Picasso, drag it in, place it. Well, what I ended up here with Eldridge and why it's taken so long is I didn't just have my vlog, um, but then I had uh, 
two different narrations. I've got the tour that they gave us at the park. And then I also have the tour of the carousel. So I've got three narration pieces now. And then I ended up with, you know, on top of those, I've got other video. Uh, we call it B-roll. Uh, but I have all my B-roll footage that I shot, uh, pictures and video, that would then go over that. I've got the historical pictures they have. And then in the midst of all this, I have to do uh, voiceover. So what's happened is I have gone from one or two things to work with typically to six and trying to get them all placed in and laid out. Um, and it is as complicated a project as I have ever done. Even when I have done uh, my silly guest videos and stuff, I will end up with three pieces, uh, maybe four. You know, I'll have... Uh, my main narration, and then I'll have the goofy guests, and then I'll have, uh, you know, the smart employee. And I might have two goofy guests, so I may get four. I'm at six. And <laughs> trying to get it all pieced together and laid out and do it in a way that honors them uh, is kind of what has happened with it. And, and then a life. Um, and it has just been a crazy few months to um, where trying to keep up. Uh, so, all right, I've got this video. I want to spend the time. I want to do this right, which means I've got to kind of set it aside because I've got to keep my regular videos going because uh, I have the process there. And I don't have very much free time anyways. Uh, I've got a lot of people constantly, well, hey, have you watched this? And have you tried that? And, and I'm going, I don't have time to do all that. And then when I've got this Great video and story, but I've got to keep my regular production levels up. So the regular production has to take precedence. So those things get out. And this ended up um, essentially on the side burner um, where you have the simmer and stew barely going. And you hope that you can actually get over it and get it cooked before it burns. Um, so that's what's happened is it has just basically been sitting waiting for me to get chunks of time where I can actually devote to getting it finished. Um, and I just haven't had it. Uh, so I'm, finally with winter here, I'm getting a little bit of time uh, now that work has slowed down and I'm starting to get things rolling again with it. Uh, so like I said, I've got most of the organization finally done. Uh, but even today I've got a Zoom call here in an uh, hour and a half. Uh, and then I've got a speaking engagement tonight. Uh, so that's kind of what's been happening with it. And I want to do this right. I want to do a video that they are going to be proud of, that they're going to want to share and say, hey, go look at this. Um, and that's kind of why it has taken so long. Um, so basically all of uh, this part here, this is still waiting to get organized uh, and dropped in. So we've got carousel footage, and I definitely have plans for a lot of this. So when I'm talking about the carousel, we'll be using that. Uh, the flying scooters and stuff, uh, that will all get trimmed down. Um, but to give you an idea, too, right now, all of this together, um, we're at um, 50 minutes. If I remove the spaces, I've got about 40 minutes of footage. I started off with two hours worth. Nobody's going to watch two hours of stuff. So it's also trying to get it all trimmed down into a watchable length. And the goal is for around 20 minutes or so. That's the goal. We will see if that uh, works out. But that's kind of what I'm shooting for is to get all of this trimmed down um, and all of that carried over. So that way we end up, uh, you know, right about here. Uh, and laying it in with there. So that's kind of what's going on with it and what's happening. Once um, once I get this, the rest of this stuff dragged over, put in, overlaid, uh, then I will also know what other media I need to grab. Uh, but we're, I've, I've almost got the full framework of the narration, which is their tour guide uh, information. 
Um, and then I will write out, finish writing out script for the parts that they don't cover, because there is a little bit they don't cover. Uh, plus, I'll add in some narration bits. And then the vlog segments will actually come in as essentially bumpers or transitions between the historical segments. Uh, so you'll get, uh, like I said, you'll get a little bit of uh, the beginning of the park. And uh, we will talk. You know, we'll have them talking about the beginning of the parks, and then I will have a vlog segment in there where I'm experiencing something with the beginning of it. Uh, and then we will transition back over to the amusement ride era. And again, the, the uh, historical part, and I will probably have uh, vlog segments mixed in with uh, parts of this as well. Meanwhile, the dog is saying, give me attention now. Uh, but that's essentially what is going on. So if you've been wondering, there you go. But if you have never been to Elders Park, go visit, go support them. What they are doing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ugh. And what this dog is doing is driving me nuts. So, uh, But I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, the process and behind the scenes and where we're going with it and where we're at. And hopefully my goal... Uh, it's now back on front burner, so my goal is to have it done this next week, and hopefully up. Uh, and that way they can use it sort of as a promo uh, this spring, I'm hoping. <laughs> I gotta get it done here, because I've got a week and a half to leave for Disney, and it will be done before I go to Disney. <clears throat> so, let me know if you've got any questions. Like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this little look behind the scenes. Uh, love to hear from you. Let me know. Share in the comments below. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Eldridge Park, for your patience and your support. Um, Y'all are awesome. You really are. And I can't wait to get this done so you can see the whole final finished product. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below, or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.